Peace out, JR's Corner. It's been real. Brock's driving too. Woo! Did we shut the tailgate? What? Did we shut our tailgate? It's open. Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> what is up, kids? And welcome back to another exciting episode of Fishing More Outdoors. As you guys probably just seen, we are currently just leaving old JR's Corner out on Red Lake. We are out there doing some walleye fishing, but you guys can probably see it down below in the title and whatnot. We are on our way to go do some trout fishing. Pretty excited. Uh, haven't trout fished since like last winter. I don't think I did any trout fishing this summer or anything like that. So yeah, pretty pumped. We're, uh, we might be fishing like on a reservation. We're up at, like I said, we're up at like Red Lake area. So yeah, to like even get our licenses, I believe we are actually on our way right now to like the law, like the tribal law enforcement place to buy our licenses. And uh, yeah, we're meeting up with a buddy that actually uh, hit me up on Instagram like a week ago and was like, yo man, catching some trout, you guys should come film it. So we're gonna go do that. Sounds like mainly they're uh, catching brook trout and an occasional big rainbow. So yeah, I think that's really what we're trying the hardest today is just to get a big rainbow. I'm not 100% sure if we're gonna be catching or releasing either. Uh, I think if he lets us, we might uh, keep some and bring them home to catch and cook or something, or maybe even smoke them. I don't know, we haven't figured it out yet. Anyway, stay tuned y'all, I'm fired up. We are, like I just mentioned, we have to go meet John. We have to go meet him at like the tribal law enforcement center to get our licenses, so yeah. That's the first stop. Probably have to make a few stops and then we will see you at the end. Check it out, dudes. That right there, you guys can barely see it. That is Lower Red Lake. First time I've ever seen it. Hey? And we are on the res, by the way, or the reservation. Once again, I'm so goddamn excited. Red Bee. This looks like a nice town. And just like that, yo! with John, like I already mentioned, and uh, get our licenses at the, I assume, like, police station, the reservation police station, and we'll talk to you after. Dang, dude, sick. Red Lake's got a sick skate park, all concrete. There's a bull in there, too. Damn, dude. Should come hang out here in the summer. Oh, nice. Shred it up. Red Lake Band of Chippewa Trial Justice Complex? Tribal Justice Complex. Where are we at, folks? Rock. Nice to meet you, man. Yeah, nice to meet you. Dude, I gotta grab my phone. Yeah. Hello. I need a couple of fishing licenses. Yeah. You guys just wanna drop your IDs in there? Oh, yeah, I might have to go get mine. Yeah. Yeah. All right, y'all. We are all licensed up. That's pretty cool. You gotta go like straight to here to get a license. That's when you know the fishing's gonna be good because just anybody can't go fish it. Matter of fact, like me and Brock couldn't even come fish here alone. You have to be like an actual band member to even come fish it. So once again, that makes me even more excited to do this. Anyway, stay tuned. John said we only have about a 20 minute drive. And we're gonna be at the lake. Let's get it. Uh, like what? Who that? Boy took his he get put on his with Marvin Gaye last night. It had me shook, jerky peppermint. There's dogs everywhere. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> we are officially now in the bush. This is sick. Must be it, eh? I think we have arrived to the lake. I'm so excited, y'all, that I already got the old snow bibs halfway on. So, just be waiting for B-Rock to put his on. We're gonna get right out there. Looks like we got a couple folks out there already. This lake is tiny though, wow. The man, the myth, the legend, Mr. John. Yes, sir. Are you crushing trout? Yeah. We're gonna get a lot and they're all gonna be big. Damn. I don't know. <laughs> How much ice you got here? Uh, 
know, like 20 seven or eight inches. Oh, really? Yeah. I was going to say like 20 inches. <laughs> Dude, Red's got 16 inches where we were sitting. Seriously? Yeah. Are they letting trucks out yet? They had, not letting trucks, but they had trucks everywhere out there. Yeah, they are just driving out there. Yeah. Oh, we have arrived to the spot. Homie John is filling up some holes. I'm about to start digging, hopefully, if he lets me this little Z fiber. John, you think this will catch? No, not that one. No? <laughs> oh, you bastard. <laughs> Just met this guy, but it seems pretty cool. All right, yeah, we're going to be starting out with a little eighth ounce Z Viber, a little clown color. Get down there, eh? Do how, how, it. How do you fish them? Um, if you see a rainbow, you'll have about 0.2 seconds to do something before it eats. Okay. If you see a brook trout, it's probably going to screw with you forever until it actually gets the hook in its mouth. Okay, where am I jigging though? Are we really deep right now or no? Uh, it's like 40 feet right here. So jig like 5 feet below the ice or down bottom? Yeah, I would I would be screwing around everywhere in the water until you figure out where they're coming. Just call them climbs? Yeah. Okay. I'm not sure if you guys heard that, but John said that we're fishing about 40 feet here, so... These fish could literally be anywhere. So yeah, pretty much gonna be doing like column climbs and stuff. Once my graph calms down, and there we go. Has this thing set to NASCAR mode. Hey, let's catch a fish, Brock. Yeah? You like that NASCAR mode comment? Is that why you're giggling? Yeah. I got a, a bobber, stop. bobber stop on there for some reason. Hopefully the trout don't mistake that for a bait. I could see that happening. Dude, it's windy. I'm gonna turn my stuff this way. 11 minutes later. Shit, might as well hop in here. Check it. <laughs> it's like, if we got the heat on, we might as well fish in here. Look at that. Fresh hole. All right, about the same depth in here. Looking like about 39 feet. Hell yeah. Thanks, man. Yeah, now we chilling. See, this is how I like to fish. Mm -hmm. Nice fish house, chair, warm. Don't get much better than this. Well, we could get, once we catch a fish, it'll be better. Going with the old tungsten? Mm -hmm. I like it. All right, boys, you got a couple bed sticks out there with some spikes on them. Um, you guys familiar with like the bait feeder reels? Yeah. Yep. Okay, those both have bait feeder reels on them, so just okay. the switch, set the hook, do your thing. Where's the switch on them? Down here? Yep, right on the back of them. Okay. Little update on the day, y'all. John went to go drill some holes a little bit shallower. Um, we haven't marked a fish yet. Could be the time of day, but we have only been out here for about 45 minutes. So yeah, hopefully we can either pinpoint them up shallow or hopefully some move in or something. I don't know. Hopefully next scene is one of us hooked up on a trout. Look at that thing. Ooh, beautiful, Oops. squirmy little male brook trout. Oh God, come on. There we go. Look at that. Beauty. Little male. They spawn in the fall, so they're all colored up right now still. Gorgeous. Oh, you boys want to eat that one? I don't even know what's a good eater. That one. That one? Absolutely. Yeah, we'll yeah, take that, that one. Good. Heck yeah. All right. That took two seconds. I moved to that other hole. I was scooping the ice out of it. My rod just boop, <laughs> loaded right up. Heck yeah. All right, boys. All We're right, on that's them. one. All right, we might come up shallow with you then. Let's do it. Heck yeah. We are leaving the portable, y'all. If John's catching up shallow, then we're going up shallow. And just seen him. Where should I go, you think? Uh, just this next hole over. Right here? Yeah. Okay. I don't even need a graph, huh? No, you can probably see the bottom. Is it like there. two feet? Yeah. Wow. Dude, I gotta see this thing. Little brookie? Male, yeah. Oh, Colored wow. Up. Pretty pink spots on him. That thing's beautiful. Yeah. Dude, it is a foot deep right here. Yeah. Do you catch rainbows here too? Um, when they stock them, so when they're really small, you'll catch them up here. But it seems like those big fish roam out deep a lot more. Dang. I haven't seen any of the big giant rainbows up here, just the brook trout. I gotta say, this is probably the shallowest I've fished. Nice. 
Yeah, my leader's not even. <laughs> my leader's not even in the water. <laughs> I'm like a foot down. Oh, that Z Viber just looks sexy too. So honestly, a brook trout might have a hard time. Like I can see that. It's gonna try to eat it. Yeah. But it might have a hard like you might have a hard time getting it to get the trebles in its mouth. Yeah. No, I can see that. We'll see if I get one. Or if I see one. Twenty minutes later. Alright, Joe! We are back in the hub. It is freezing out there. My line and stuff is just one big block of ice. And it sounds like uh, John said that we just have a way better chance of catching a big rainbow out here in the deep. So, uh, yeah, I think that's what I'm more so fired up about. He did say we can't get brookies out here, too. So, yeah, I'm going to go big or go home. Stay tuned. We're going to catch one here. I can feel it. Man, it's nice in here. Oh, yeah, it is. Yeah? Funny new lure. What? Are you just on the ground? Yeah. Nice. No more? No. It's still pretty quiet out here. Yeah, nothing yet. Right. It's warm though. It's warm though. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm marking. I'm marking. Please eat it. Please eat it. Oh my god. No way, y'all. I just marked my first fish. No way. Roger. Brock just went up to the truck to get the other heater because this heater died. And I finally just had for sure trout, too. For sure trout. It chased up like three times really quick. No way. No. Come back. Just marked one. Did you? Yeah. Off a of bottom. No For way. For sure trout. No way. Yeah, rough trout, I think. It was just little. But for sure trout. Dang. And for sure, Mark. It might start happening. The sun just hit this No way. Edge, yeah. That's what he said. He said the sun's too bright. You need it to be a little darker. Low pressure. Stay tuned, y'all. Let's get one real soon. A little longer than a few minutes later. This fish house is sick. Come on, walleyes. I mean, Joe. I'm gonna be pumped walleye bit right now. Yeah, it'd be sick, but a trout would be way sicker even. Scene two caught one in the last minute. Oh. He said. He just got another. No way. Yeah, let's go. That was sick. Drop the guy down there. Another one came in. Where should we go? Is it anywhere here? right here? Take this one. Right there. That's a good spot. Should I use this or that? Take this. Take that? Yeah. All right. Use that bad boy. I'll see if I'm I can I'm kind of pumped. It. Oh, God. This go. thing's sweet. You can try out this um, fish moment. Right. Oh, yeah. Either one. Oh, dude, you can see good here, too. With the triple hole. Drop it right here, bro. Look at them two guys. Nice. How far down? Just like... Um, just like down I there? The one, I was literally like bouncing it off the bottom of the ice. And my jig had to have been two inches below the ice. And it no way. It. So. How far up? So I just got to set the hook pretty much. Yeah, you literally just have to lift them out of the water. Make sure they have it in their mouth and lift them out of the water. And if you miss them, it doesn't matter if your plastic's all screwed up. They're just pissed off at They'll that They'll just point. do it again. Drop it right back in the hole, yeah. Oh, dude, there's one down there. Yeah. It's a nice one. He's coming to you, Brock. Yeah. Dude, I was staring at it for five seconds before I realized it was a fish. You see him? No. He was slowly swimming right towards you. Dang. Dude, that was a nice one. Could you see the color on it? Dude, it almost looked like a rainbow. Yeah? Yeah. Was it like huge, huge? Like, oh, he's back. No, it's a brookie. It's it's a big male. Get him. Is he sharking or what's he doing? No, he just swam slow. It's big, though. It's a big one. 
There bigger than these ones. Bigger than that those. other one you had. Yeah. It's like this. That's a good one. Yeah, I was swimming it back and forth. Like the bait. Yeah. It's going. Back and down, up and down. Yeah, right up there. and down the holes. Dude, that was a tank. For a brookie. Yeah. And the fins were so orange. Super orange, yeah. Super orange. Big nail. They're so freaking cool. Didn't come right through in the middle. Yeah, he just came like this at first. And then the second time he just came like this and then kind of moseyed this way. Moving slow, though. How do I catch two in two minutes and now there's just nothing? <laughs> Should we go try those other ones, you think? Maybe they're shallow now? We can, yeah. We can slide over there and check them. Let's try over there for a little bit, and if not, Taco Bell. Yeah, I think Taco Bell's sounding pretty good right now. What do you think, boys? Up to you, boys. I can't see Dick. Yeah, it's just my lure disappears, I know. Let's blow this popsicle stand. Gorgeous night, though. Oh, it's beautiful out. There's no wind. Yeah. That's everything. If it's 10 degrees and no wind, it feels the same as like 26 in the world. Why, if it wasn't bright, it'd be dark. <laughs> Welcome back. Yo, we have made her off the lake. Sorry about the flash. Holy buckets, y'all. What a freezing cold freaking struggle. What were your thoughts on that, big guy? It was fun to get out and try something new. Yeah. Uh, that, first time trout fishing for me. Really? Yeah. Like, was your first time trout fishing through the ice? Yeah, besides like Port Pack. Dang, now I'm really sad that you didn't catch one. Well, it's fishing, man. You yeah, know, you it fish is fishing. Time. Still had a good time. John turned out to be a super cool dude. He also owns a guide service, I feel I should mention really quick. If any of y'all want to come up here and do this for yourself, uh, I know this video probably won't entice you too much, but apparently he usually slams them. He said this was like the worst day he's had all year, which I kind of believe him because we got this big full moon the past two nights in a row and huge cold front, which has just turned off like all the fish in general. So yeah, that's what I'm going to blame it on. Just the weather in general. Anyways, well, I don't think this video is over. We got a like two hour drive. I think we're about to stop at some T-Bell, get some grout because both myself and B-Rock, dude, we haven't eaten a single thing today. What's new, dude? Just another day grinding, baby. Like, literally, what's new? So, yeah, stay tuned. We do have three trout still that uh, John caught and let us keep, so I think we're still going to smoke them tomorrow. And also, we happen to have some walleyes, too, from our last trip, so, yeah, I'm probably going to cook or maybe smoke them also. I don't know. We have arrived. To the T Bell in Bemidji, y'all. Sure. When's the last time we've been here, Brock? Last winter. Last winter. On just about the same hiatus we're on right now. No kidding. Look at this car right here. Damn. Po po pim pim pim, boy. I am, boy. Dang on dang on dang on down, boy. Holy drive through, dude. Yeah, this place is popping, man. I have just been freaking editing the past hour drive, but anyways, y'all, we're about to destroy some T-Bell, like absolutely destroy, like about to order everything on the menu, and then we'll see ya, we'll see you later. Dude, T-Bell be popping on a Thursday night. Drink of the freezy, like this is, you know, a final question. Just a fountain drink, man. Fountain drink, okay, okay, we're going small, medium, large, what are we doing? Medium. Just a, just mediums. Oh, all right, two of those. Is there anything else I can get for you? Um, can I do a whole bunch of hot sauce and a whole bunch of mild? A metric shit ton of each. Perfect. Anything else for you, boss man? No, that'll do it. Alrighty. That'll be 31.24. Please pull forward to the window. Thank you. Thank you. Dude, no wonder why there's a line like that. This guy. How much was it? <laughs> I don't even remember. Something. 34 31, or something? 31.54 or something. Dude, what the fuck? Hey, I got a question for you. Yeah, what's you up? Have you ever done a survey for Taco Bell before? I don't think so. It takes like two minutes. Would you do it for me? I really appreciate that, man. I'm going to get phoned on every level. All night tonight. No, all night long. Yeah, I can, I can probably do it. Alright, bro. Alright, bro. So, literally, so you just go to, uh, uh. <laughs> I wish I recorded that whole thing. Yeah. It just hit me, and I was like, damn, turn the camera on. This guy's a trip. Alright, so who's the bag or the box coming up for me? 
perfect. Have a great night. Yeah, you as well, man. Thank you. In this case you guys are wondering, we got it all. <laughs> what after being in the fish house the past few nights and literally not eating a single thing today after fishing all day <sighs> taco bell y'all did good that was so goddamn i'm dead now though anyway stay tuned y'all we got about an hour 30 drive back to the old fishmore headquarters actually we gotta go to my mom's house pick up kevin first but yeah i think we're gonna put the phone down here stay tuned we will uh pick this back up I ain't normal, I'm clinically insane. I guess it's the result of trouble. Welcome back, y'all. As you can see, we are back at the Fish and More headquarters. It is the next day, and I think, unfortunately, we are going to end this video here. I know I said we were going to smoke up those brook trout, but I think they, they're just too small to smoke just them ones. And I think we're actually um, heading trout fishing again real soon here, so I think we're just going to save them trout for that trip and maybe add that to the ones we hopefully get. But anyways, y'all, uh, I know the fishing was kind of rough. Once again, the weather has just been crappy for us, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. One more time too, once again, I know I mentioned it earlier in the video, but John, homie John, uh, actually owns a guide service, and once again, he said that yesterday was like the worst fishing he's literally had all winter. So yeah, Vinny all are heading up to the Red Lake and want to go catch some trout. Hit up the homie John, I'm gonna leave all of his info down below. If you guys could like this video, share this video, smash that subscribe button, drop a comment down below, help us get in that algorithm, and uh, yeah, stay tuned for next video. Hopefully it'll, the fishing, hopefully the fishing will be a little bit better than this one and the last one. But yeah, love y'all. Peace out. See you next time.